Here we're looking in uh, a Burke winding mechanism. Are you kidding me? Yeah. Uh, giving me some grief. No, but I wasn't doing anything bad towards him. Mercury switches. Click. Next minute. Eighteen twenty one at the moment. Keep shelter. This box are not in the best position. Yeah, but you don't plan at all. You don't get any spells to like shield yourself. In relation to the Arca Thor. Do you want to level? Do you want to level? Get some. Stop. Stop. I went on Adam and I, I kind of want to get him to Exalted, but I'm thinking, is that a waste of my time? Because, you know, like, I. Can you? Because this is so. Um, get your iPod. I can't be like. Here yeah, I've got a different build mechanism, but it's a similar principle. Uh, the winding motor is on this uh, because this one is completely discharged. But if there's a problem like uh, when the clock advances in two minute intervals, it usually this particular lever needs a bit of adjustment adjusting. So it will cause the grief. Clock, uh, clocks have a substantial movement there. The actual escape wheel is the minute ABBA, an intermediate ABBA wheel, and the main spindle. And it's a continuous rotating uh, spring fader, counterweight. At the moment, uh, one of the devices is being wound up, it's probably being visible. Very good movement. Mercury switches for 24 volt pulsation. Mercury switch for tariff intervals for switching uh, alarm bells. Hier ist das Burg Haupttor getrieben. System. This particular lever, uh, in this particular case, it's black. Oh, camera a little bit better there. It's this thing here. 
That's when the weight, the counterweight is being pulled up fully. That will move um, the actual oh, that's a tie. This will disengage the lever and if that gets out of adjustment a bit, that will cause the clock to advance in two minute intervals. Spindles. Motor drive going. Awesome stuff, these clocks. Okay, back to the clock in situ. Uh, normally, the weight sits here underneath the 24 hour wheel and it holds the lever out. And the counterweight hangs here to keep the chain nicely tensioned up. So, that is, uh, it provides about a 24 hour backup. So, when the power is de energized, or power cut, or whatever. The particular main weight drops down slowly on the Buick. Counterweight goes up till it runs out, and then uh, the power is restored, and the clock will advance itself back up to the correct time and adjust all the slave clocks. Here we have another Buick Sakri Steinuhr. Different dial, 24 hour wheel there, and it got. Uh, and them here and Mercury switches here on the device. Here we got the Burk. Um, it's a 33 day movement here and these two clocks are actually synchronized. Pendula, pendula, pendula. I better not be in this. No, I don't like you in there. Except do you have a nice more video? Internet hours 28,645 in about eight years roughly, I think, something like that. And we've got the consumption meter here, SPA01 as well. I'm so a we, we set up the pulses from here and just waiting for the Mercury switch to enable itself at the five minute interval. Should be happening any time. The blue LED, which is here, will uh, click on. And then it hasn't like accepted. I mean, like I've restarted the dungeon again. So like, 20 I mean, like, seconds I'll event is adjustable as well. And then um, when we complete the dungeon, it will, it will tell you to go back in there again. There we like, go. Like it reset the quest for you. So I I, I, will, I would walk back and try and avoid my battle. You don't want to get Click. Like Beautiful. Beautiful. Singonus, divorce. I not watching this. And the clock is back together. It went in fine. Oh, 
simple as our encounter.